In this video, I'll show you how to create the chi-square distribution table in Excel. We use the chi-square distribution when we're testing the value of a single population variance. We may use this if, for example, we want to compare an investment fund sample variance with its benchmark variance. To create our chi-square distribution table, we'll use the chi-square inverse right-tailed function, which returns the inverse of the right-tailed chi-square probability distribution. This function consists of two parameters, the probability and the degrees of freedom. We've already added the different degrees of freedom and the probabilities as our table headings. If our level of significance is 5%, then in the right-tailed table, the probability would be 1 minus 5%, which is 0 0.95. We type the name of the function, first input the probability, followed by the degrees of freedom, and then we close brackets and click enter. The next step will be to apply this function to all the remaining cells in our table. However, we can't simply drag the cells across and below, as we haven't yet added absolute references. Ignoring this would result in a bunch of incorrect results, as the function would not refer to the correct probability or degrees of freedom. For cell C3, we want the column to be dynamic and the row to be static. Therefore, we add a dollar sign in front of the row number only. In other words, if we drag this cell one to the right, we want it to refer to D instead of C. Whereas if we move it one cell down, we want the row number to remain as three. For the horizontal heading, we'll do the opposite. We'll add a dollar sign before the column as we want the column to be static and we want the row number to be dynamic so we won't add a dollar sign before the row number. Now that we've applied our references, we'll drag this cell to the right and down to apply the function to all cells within our table. So that's how you can create a right-tailed chi-square distribution table in Excel. To bring it to life, Let's assume we have a sample of 24 observations and therefore 23 degrees of freedom. Let's also assume that we've specified a 5% level of significance, which means the probability would be 1 minus 0.05, which is 95%. Therefore, the critical value is 13.091, as this corresponds to 23 degrees of freedom and a probability of 0 0.95. Alternatively, we can use the index match function to do this for you automatically. I've created a video to show you how to do this. Please see the link in the description below to view it. This brings us to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.